Today's session is a very, very, very informative session on the alarming topic that has trapped the entire globe, that is coronavirus. In this session, we'll be telling you each and every detail that is required by any person about the virus. What is the virus about? How does it look like? How does it spread? What is the current statistics about the virus and everything? As per the latest news that we have received today, is that a newborn baby has been affected by the virus so uh, you know there are a lot of questions about the virus how is it spreading where has it reached has it reached our country has it reached our city each and every doubt will be solved and that is what it today's session is about all you should know about coronavirus it is not like there's an option guys the entire world the entire globe has been trapped by this virus so being a citizen being a human who has the same mind and same body you should know about the virus so that you can protect yourself and you can protect your community as well so today's session is all that you should know about coronavirus so let us begin yeah from where it all started from where the entire journey of this virus start so let us see where the entire journey of this virus started so there there is a city called wuhan there's a city called wuhan where there was a group of people who got infected by pneumonia so there was a group of people in the city of Wuhan who got infected by malaria and when the tests were done, when the tests were done and further investigation told that these people were very closely working with the seafood and the live animal market. All the, you know, the where animals were sold for consuming food, for being consumed as food and the seafood. So these people were working with the seafood and the live animal market and then the further investigations told that they were having an unknown virus the virus was not known and the virus was finally named as the 2019 novel coronavirus because this happened on the 31st of december 2019 guys very important please remember 31st of december 2019 this virus was, was detected and it was known as the 2019 novel coronavirus the 2019 novel coronavirus which was found in the group of people residing in the city of Wuhan in China and they were working with the seafood and live animal market. Now, what is exactly coronavirus? What is this virus all about and why the name Corona? So, what is coronavirus? Let us find out. So, coronavirus is basically a group of virus. Just like if I give you an example, mosquitoes can cause dengue, malaria, chikungunya, zika and so many things. Similarly, Corona is a group of virus. Coronavirus is a group of virus. And over here, we have got three different categories of this virus, like the SARS coronavirus, which stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Virus. So this is a respiratory virus. It causes respiratory congestion. So SARS coronavirus, MERS coronavirus, that is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and the 2019 novel coronavirus. So these are the three types of coronaviruses, SARS, MERS and 2019 novel coronavirus. These are the three different types of coronavirus. So coronavirus is a group of viruses. It is a family of viruses in which you've got three different types that is SARS, MERS and NCOV that is novel coronavirus of 2019. Now let us see how does this virus look like? How does this virus look like? Does it look like a ghost? Let us see how does the virus look like. So this is how the virus looks like. It has got a genetic, you know, a genetic makeup in the center, which has been surrounded by a membrane. It has got the spiky proteins, the RNA and the N protein. It has got an envelope. So this structure, this structure in the center, because it looks like a crown and crown in Latin is, no, is called as Corona. So crown in Latin is known as Corona. And that is why this virus has been named as coronavirus. Corona means crown and the appearance of this virus is like a crown and that is why the virus is known as coronavirus. So this is how the virus looks. It is very very minute. You cannot see it with naked eye. 
because you can't see it with naked eye let us see how this virus got originated so it was first found in animals it was first found in animals and the virus traveled from animals to humans because of two reasons there were two reasons because of which the virus could transfer from animals to humans and that was one because of mutation because the virus underwent some mutations which got inhabited in the human body and the second was very close contact with animals so very close contact with animals caused the virus to develop itself in human body also so the two reasons because of which the virus could transfer from animals to humans was because of mutations or increased contact with the animal so there was the two reasons because of which the virus could reach from animal body to the human body now let us see that what is the main origin for the SARS and MERS virus. So the SARS virus, that is the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, spread it through cats. Cats were the main reasons in China why this virus spread. So SARS was first found in 2003 in China. MERS was first found in Saudi Arabia. Which, that is why it is called the Middle East. The Middle East respiratory syndrome coronavirus and it spread through camels. But... The main issue of worry is the NCOV, that is the 2019 novel coronavirus and the origin of it is unknown. Though it was found first in the residents of Wuhan who were working with seafood and live animal market, but they don't know from where did the virus come. As I told you in the beginning of the session, a newborn baby, a newborn baby was diagnosed with you know coronavirus and the origin is still unknown recently there was a four month old child and his parents in Singapore there, who were found affected by the virus but they have never ever traveled to China yet they got affected by the virus so this virus from where it is coming what is the actual source is still unknown I'm not scaring you guys I'm just telling you the facts because when you know the facts, only then you can protect yourself. Now let us see that how does the virus spread? Very important, how does the virus spread? So as I told you that it is a respiratory virus, so it spreads through air. It spreads through air directly and it spreads through contaminated touch. For example, if a person is affected by the virus and you come in very close contact with the person, the person just sneezes and you are in the vicinity of that person, the virus will definitely affect you through the air because it is a respiratory virus. It spreads through air. It spreads through air in the form of air droplets and it also spreads through contaminated touch with the infected person. So be careful. These, this session is not to scare you this session is just an eye opener that how the virus is spreading across the globe and how should you protect yourself next is are you at risk are you someone who can acquire this virus so the groups of people who are at more risk are the ones who are working in live animal markets so if you're working in an animal market or if you're staying near to a live animal market then you are at risk and the people who are working with the infected so you know when the virus got detected in wuhan for the people who were who had a pneumonia and the virus was detected the first people to get infected were the hospital workers the nurses and the doctors who were working with the patients of pneumonia who had coronavirus got infected first because they didn't know they just thought that it is normal pneumonia and they can't treat and when they went in close contact with the person they got the virus recently there was a doctor who got the coronavirus in china and he knew that if he will work with the patient suffering from corona he is going to die but still still he kept on working with those people and he succumbed to the virus but a huge salute a huge you know a tribute to that doctor who gave up his life even in spite of knowing that if he works with those patients he will get the virus and he will die yet he did so you know we should salute such people we should respect their efforts because this is something that a normal human cannot do so huge respect and a huge tribute to such people who gave up their life fighting for the infected people so the virus can spread uh, you know it if you are working near a, a live market or if you are living near a live animal market or if you are in close contact with the person who has got the virus then you are at risk next is what are the symptoms if you have got the virus what are the symptoms that can show that you have acquired the virus is mild or severe fever cough 
shortness of breath because it's a respiratory virus it will definitely give you shortness of breath pneumonia kidney failure and death these are the major symptoms given by uh, a person who is infected by the virus now guys this entire information entire information whatever you're seeing on the screen in front of you is directly taken from the world health organization website so this is completely authentic you can trust our word because who is the authentic organization who gives you the current and the true updates on the virus so guys please don't believe any news any news articles or any newspaper articles if you have any doubts regarding the virus how does it spread what is the treatment are you at risk and all please visit who.org the world health organization website will give you the exact and the true information now is there any treatment to the virus we are so sorry scientists from across the globe you know uh, recently bill gates has promised 100 million 100 million dollars bill gates uh, has promised to the people who are suffering from the virus for treatment for incubation for research so that an it virus can be found but till date as of now when you are listening to this lecture till date there has been no treatment found against the virus only what you can do is give that patient rest just isolate the patient give them proper treatment for the fever or whatever uh, you know problem they are suffering through but you cannot beat the virus there has been no treatment that has found against the virus so there is no treatment available but you can definitely protect yourself so what you can do is you can cover your mouth and nose while sneezing or coughing you can avoid close contact with the infected wash your hands regularly guys wash your hands regularly regularly wash your hands even though you have touched something or you have not touched something you don't know what your hands has acquired so wash your hands regularly with soap or alcoholic sanitizer avoid unnecessary contact with animals if if you can avoid please do and please guys at least during uh, at least till the time the virus has not got eradicated avoid eating non-vegetarian food because you don't know from where the animal is coming you don't know whether the animal is infected or not you don't know what the animal has gone through the animal might be infected so please avoid eating any kind of non-vegetarian food be it uh, you know chicken mutton beef pork or fish or any kind of seafood just avoid non-vegetarian food at least in the time we find an antivirus if you have any of the disgust symptoms if you if you are showing any of these symptoms or if you know any anyone who is showing the symptoms please seek medical help immediately guys god forbid none of you should have the virus none of you will ever acquire this virus you will all always remain healthy and hearty and you know as brave and courageous as you always are but if you find anyone around you showing the symptoms that we discussed please seek medical help immediately immediately just go to a doctor and get yourself tested there is there is a test called the pcr pcr will help to detect whether you have acquired the virus or not and guys reported cases in india is till 4th of february 2020 as of 4th of february 2020 there has been three confirmed cases of the 2019 novel coronavirus so in india there have been three cases of the virus that have been detected as of 4 february 2020 again i'm repeating this entire data is taken from the world health organization so this is completely authentic and you can 100 percent trust on the data so guys what can you do is be safe and spread the awareness i feel now you have got complete information of what is the virus from where it all started what is the origin of the virus where what are the different types of virus how does it spread what are the symptoms what you should do please be safe and spread awareness spread awareness try to protect yourself Try to not go near any live animal market. Try to just have a mask and protect yourself. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay happy. Until we meet next guys. Take care of yourself. And remain healthy. God bless you all. Thank you so much. <laughs>